Hi everyone, so we just have some fun inspiration for you guys today. Um, sometimes you just want to do something different. Priscilla made this gorgeous frame that she bought at Pep. It's a really cheap one, it's just plastic. But look how she used some of her leftover products to decorate it. Don't you think this is just an awesome gift? It can be hung up against the wall. Um, you can just play with some of your leftover products and create something that's really fun. Um, doesn't have to have a purpose except that it is absolutely beautiful. Well done Priscilla. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Um, we really appreciate it. So we hope you'll be inspired to go and dress up some elements, some frames, whatever you might have using your leftovers. The other day I was teaching a free class at the shop and I ended up coloring this tag and then when I got home I actually added these flowers and did some double stamping with heat embossing. Um, it's a fabulous technique and I love the way my tag came out. I did back the backing with a white piece of cardstock so that you can write a note on it and I was thinking of giving it to someone with a book um, as a gift. It makes a really nice bookmark, the ink won't come off, the flowers won't go flat as you can see you can just puff them up again. Um, when was the last time you made a tag? I hope that you'll be inspired and remember to attend our free classes. When you create a layout with a big photo as a focal point, it's always good to place the photo where you can actually cut it in half. Um, you can then also use two landscapes, as you can see implied there. And this layout Priscilla made using the photo that had been lying around for a couple of years, and then using some gorgeous stencil embossed elements on the background. She simply applied some paste uh, sprinkled some embossing powder, melted it and then a big cluster of flowers here on the left side. This title dressed up simply inking it, a leftover element that didn't make it to a kit club and some lace here at the bottom that has been inked and added. Of course a little border punch and just some other fun elements Hope you will be inspired to use a big photo and some lying around elements. It's always fun to make your own elements when you are creating a scrapbook layout. So for this page we have made some silk foam flowers that matched the paper. We added some of our own resin elements that we made and then a beautiful element using a die cut that was actually waxed and inked just to match the papers. Banners are always popular. You can see Priscilla added hundreds of little banners, well maybe not hundreds, but a lot of little banners there at the top. And then of course you can use a patterned paper for your matting. There you have some inspiration for the week. Hope you'll be inspired to create pattern paper, or to use pattern papers for your matting, to create some of your own flowers that match your layout, and to add some dressed up die cut elements. Some inspiration for you guys today. Um, Karina and Charmaine went on a road trip attending Elisna's event a couple of years ago and they stopped along the way and also saw some amazing sights. When she wanted to do the background she didn't want it to be too pink because um, the little building or the church that they visited was very rustic. So to emulate that she simply dressed up her background. Can you see how she added some texture to the background using gesso, some paints and some stencil work. Also created some handmade flowers using silk foam and added everything else that was left. Thank you Priscilla for putting this together. <laughs> Karina did all the elements and then Priscilla put the layout together after finding it in a box. So everything gets done and all that needs to be added now is the journaling.